Hi, I'm Mihir Joshi and welcome to another edition of the MJ Show. Now, if you're watching us for the first time, which I'm hoping you really are not, but if you are watching us for the first time, let me introduce you to uh, the show and what we do over here. I'm Mihir, like I said, and I've been a radio jockey in Mumbai for many, many years. I'm also a singer and one of the most uh, fun things that I got to do, and I say this every time, but it was honestly one of the most fun things that I got to do on radio was to meet up with uh, some of my favorite singers, musicians, uh, music directors, guitar players. Uh, and now what I thought is I'd get all of those fantastic people right here on this show and get get you guys to uh, know them a little bit better. So today I have a fantastic singer. I've had her uh, on my radio show in the past. We talked about uh, her Bollywood work. There's some interesting things that you're going to discover about her today. She's uh, very, very, very pretty and she sings really, really well. And uh, you know all of her songs, I'm sure. So let me introduce you now to the guest on the MJ show for today, the lovely Anusha Mani. Welcome Anusha, welcome Thank to you. the MJ show. Fantastic to uh, get you back on something that I'm doing. Uh, I think we met about like a couple of years ago on, yep. my, on the radio show and uh, we talked about stuff that was happening at that point of time. I know there's been a lot more that's been happening since then yes. and there's a lot that's happened before that as well. So today let's talk about pretty much everything. Uh, let's start off from the start. This is something that I like to find out about every singer who comes on the show. When did you actually start singing professionally and on stage uh, and all that? Uh, professionally, I think it's been about uh, seven or eight years. Mm -hmm. um, I started off in college, you know, uh, a senior in my college was like, uh, he was doing these shows and he was, and Amit Trivedi was a part of it, okay. Sri Ram Iyer was a part of it. You were in the same college? Uh, no, we were not in the same college, but he used to do our annual function. Okay. So he would make tracks for the college. Okay, okay. So, oh, like uh, how you got these, the college coordinators yeah, who come yeah. and who teach you, who teach the students, okay? Yeah, you, yeah. Okay, so okay. I was I was in charge of all the students and I would teach them songs parts and, and parts songs. and harmonies and stuff like that. Nice. And Amit would make tracks and that's how I met him. And, okay. uh, um, Eventually, we started doing shows and uh, he used to do a lot of Gujarati plays and jingles okay. and stuff like that. Sachin Jigar, so Sachin was also a part of uh, the same group. Oh, wow. So, okay. we've all been a part of the same group and we used to have a lot of fun. So and Sriram Ayer as well, you said. Sriram Ayer, Naresh Ayer, uh, nice. uh, Sachin, Amit, me, all of us were in one group and we used to do all these Wow. Shows for like 500 rupees. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I started. Shows never for 500 rupees it. never happening never now. Happened. <laughs> Actually, my first first show, I got paid 300 bucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was in second year uh, BCom and that was the best day of my life. Incredible. I saw this 300 bucks and I was like, what do I do with this? Like, yes. How do I spend <laughs> this? What do I do with this money? You know, uh, so fantastic. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it was the best. So it started off with that. I I also remember reading in those I think those Gujarati plays that you're talking about. You've sung songs with him. Yeah, yeah. So you've sung in Gujarati as well. Yeah, yeah. So w what other languages have you sung in so far? Uh, I'm talking well, about jingles, films, whatever. No, uh, films I've. It's all Hindi. It's all Hindi, uh, but jingles I've done all of it: Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada, Bengali, Assamese, <laughs> Marathi, English, like. So what what came first? Did jingles start happening first, or did film yeah, songs start? Yeah, jingles. Jingles first. Started first, I was doing chorus. So okay. uh, when I was in college, like you know, excited to do like a show for three hundred bucks, five hundred bucks. Then I got promoted to five hundred. Huh. Then I got promoted <laughs> to thousand. So uh, that was like the best part of my life. And okay. uh, then slowly, slowly, I started getting called for chorus singing. And the high of being behind a mic, standing with like four, seven, ten singers and singing like parts. So, do you remember like one of the first jingles that you did back then? Uh, my first ever jingle was actually an AV for Idea. Oh yeah. So that na 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 na. -na but in na -na -na. chorus? No, no, that was a single. That was but, just. But that was uh, uh, for an AV. It was not for television, but it was oh. for the company, so audiovisual. Okay. okay. Um, and Amartya Rao, he yeah. done the jingle. So that was my first. Also known as Bobo, right? Bobo, yes. Of course, yes. So that was the first one I'd ever done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so the AV thing was the first thing, the idea AV thing. Yeah. But uh, what was the first jingle, like where you were solo and not in chorus? Like your voice was heard. I can't even remember. That many jingles. Oh, no, 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 I remember. Okay. Uh, it was uh, for Rupert. Okay. Um, there was a jingle of uh, Tata Indica, the first very Tata Indica. Mm -hmm. It was an ad called You Gotta Be Dumb. Okay. You gotta be dumb. So there were four singers. Okay. But that's when I got like a separate line. Like a separate solo line. Yeah, there were separate lines. So there were four girls and there okay. was like my voice and there was Shazneen and Vivian and Candy. So that was the first, yeah. First very cool, very, very cool. One, yeah. And uh, what 
has been like your longest running jingle like that people know and like you know like if you tell them i sang this and they're like oh my god i i love this you know i mean this is like one of my favorite jingles there are lots of them there's a there's a kaya skin clinic one that played for a long time there's a himalaya shampoo one that okay. was done by lesley lewis okay uh the thing with jingles is uh you don't get credit for it right exactly so nobody knows who and there's no way to promote it like you correct. can't be on facebook saying i sang this jingle exactly. i sang that jingle yeah. and also because i do jingles like maybe 3 4 times a week so correct. it's i'm not going to go on like putting say, like okay i did this jingle I did this, and this jingle and this, and this jingle I mean, and like, this yeah, jingle it's a little and it's like usually like you're, you're doing like a humming sometimes you're doing an ala sometimes it's just like just one line sometimes there's like seven lines correct so it's um, it's uh, but i remember you telling thing. me that you've done fair and lovely for a long time right the i've been the like. voice of fair and lovely for the last 3 years okay. uh, but again it's just that one tune that one line that gets like on different films right uh, but i really enjoy doing fair and lovely because uh, First of all I know exactly what I have to do yeah. so there's no confusion about like okay what do I have to sing and Correct. how is it going to go and none of that right. and uh, secondly it's um, it's quick okay walk in sing the line walk out so it's literally like a 20 minute job right. and I get paid really well for it <laughs> and uh, the the agency guys really not 300 me. rupees <laughs> not 300 rupees I get paid way more than that um, and uh, they love me you know every time they're like oh you know what you have to do and just do it and to sweet go home <laughs> let me hear that line cuz you oh know no. it's come on you got <laughs> to do so it you dumb got to, to do it fair and listen lovely. fair and <laughs> lovely is getting full on promotion fair and lovely people i know you should you when, should when you see this she, you don't you, you never get to see her face singing the jingle I now know. you're getting to see that got to give her next 5 years ka ads as well and you want to do something <laughs> with us that's fine as well let's hear it it's it's just a stupid thing okay first of all you can barely hear my voice because there's always a voice over going like blah, so blah, blah, now blah, blah, now blah, blah. we'll hear it properly oh wow okay na 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 that's it you can you can, you can visualize <laughs> flowers falling and pretty women walking really, around and really. and then sudden changes in color happening yeah, all that the really fair <laughs> girl coming from nowhere in mid stuff like <coughs> all dark women yeah but, but, but you know what it's it's incredible the whole uh, jingle space i think it's so cool like in such a short period of time you got to express so much there's singers happening there's musicians and there's so much that happens in the jingle yep, space and yep. nobody really realizes the impact of it but for so many musicians singers it's it's a great living right it's I mean, a great living it's great pocket money it's great uh, experience yeah of course at the end of the day i feel like even though it's a small part yeah. but you do like different things every day absolutely you know like yeah. you have to play characters sometimes Correct. and sometimes it's just like a stupid funny thing Correct. sometimes it's like a angry character sometimes it's like a pretty character so Correct. it's like it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh curiosity that's there and uh, there's a lot of creativity especially for musicians i think because they have to make a rock track they have to make a f- like a like and a you get to experiment so many different types of sounds and ideas genres, and genres like everything absolutely, everything it's, absolutely. It's great. and i think it's really really cool because you know every now and then one such jingle comes along that sort suddenly catches everybody's fancy yep. and then it's almost like having a song out you know yep, and, you yep, know, yep. okay even then maybe people don't know who's done it but it's still you can if you've done it you get to say that you know what this is me i've done this yeah of yeah, course yeah it's, it's it's as great, good as great. i just wish they gave credits yeah. i mean i know it's, it's it's difficult at the end of the day about the product and not, yeah, about, it's not the about the musicians but i wish there was a way to let people know who's done what because there's so many amazing musicians who, who work in the ad world yeah, there's so yeah. many of them and they're so brilliant yeah I really wish they were like in the line. Okay, here's what we should do. I think it's interesting that, you know, I mean, of course, it may not be possible to do it on television as in like when the ad is running on national television to say who's done it. But I believe, uh, you know, uh, she was telling me that at least online ad credits are given to yeah, the musicians. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, generally YouTube when agencies pay, put it up, they give credits. Give credits yeah. to the And you know, all all you fantastic brands who are making such amazing ads out there, you guys have your Facebook fan pages and Twitter handles. So when you put out a new ad, please also promote. tweet and promote and let people singers know who's musicians, yeah who yeah. the singers are yeah. who the musicians are that'd be really really nice and uh, let's let's see that happening you know all you corporates watching us right now hmm. whoever is watching us right now okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to switch off part 1 we're going to go into part 2 very very soon and i'm going to talk to anusha about 
her Bollywood career. You found out how she started things off right now. You found out about her jingles career so far. Now we're going to talk to her about Bollywood. So come back in part two with me and Anusha on the MJ show. And we'll talk about some fantastic songs. I'm going to get her to sing some more songs too, not just jingles. <laughs> All right, part two of the MJ show coming up.